Welcome to another episode of 3B Outdoors. I'm Nathan Light, and today Barry Loop and I are on Weiss Lake. We fished the day before with Matt Heron, Elite Series Pro, and today we're on our own. And man, it's gonna be wild, it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have a cliff in here that you've probably never seen anything like it before. Stay tuned, we're gonna go catch some Coosa spotted bass. He is a good one, 3B Outdoors boys. Not a big one. Big bass, bass. Yeah. Twelve pound even, biggest fish I ever caught out there. He beat two brothers in the woods and hit a double right off the bat. Yes. It all happened so fast. Boom! It just happened. Won't catch anything like this out on the water. Yeah, That's the best one that I'll catch. 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. Almost more ways than one. Easy little spot. Easy. There we go. Coosa spotted bass. Mean green fighting machines. They will bite a jig down here. Look at that. They will bite a jig. First one, thumped it. Old homemade East Tennessee jig. Coosa spot. Pretty in that song. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, thump my old jig. That's pretty cool. I like that. Another little spotty on my jiggy. They ain't big, but it's action. Coosa spotty. Live bass. action. Live action. <laughs> <laughs> Coosa River small ones. What you got there, Bart? What old uh, Matt said that. Said one of these days he'll be a Coosa River spot. Right. right now he's just a baby. Well, is that the first one you've ever caught? Yeah, it's the first ri Coosa River. First Coosa River fish, even though it's a small one, it's my first one, so good deal. Got his little lipstick on. I guess it's a girl. A little old jig. There you go. We'll see. Feels good to get a Coosa River spot in the boat. Monster. That wasn't a big bass, Barry bass. Gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere. Well, he was shallow. Looky here. Looky there now. That's... Mm -mm -mm. Easy, man. I believe that's a largemouth, eh? Is it? That's a largemouth. Well. That is a large head. Pretty one. Chunker. He liked that little crankbait up there, shallow. There we go. We may be on to something. I like it. I like it. Feels good. May not be big, but he feels big. Hadn't seen him yet. No, he ain't big. I thought that was a big one. He loaded up on that thing. Just 
the mean spot. He wasn't going nowhere though. He had all hooks. I thought that thing, he mashed it. Well, we called it, but not what we wanted. Yeah, that a boy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's a chunker there now. Big old spot. He got twist and turned and several places. Have to get the pliers on him. They started to rock big fish, but they're fine. They're eating, there will be a spot one day, it might Heron see us. Not <laughs> good enough. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Our boy, Barry, now we're rolling. Oh, we're getting them. We're getting them. Three bites right here off this one little point. Who yep. knows what's next? Could be the three, four, five pounder. As Rowan says, three, four, five, six, seven pounder off this point. Just barely got it. Oh, it's a big one. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. COVID-19 has impacted everyone's lives. Some people have responded by being a hermit, and it results in frustration and stress. The way I handle difficult times, I go fishing. Visit Kingsport and 3B Outdoors encourages you to get outdoors, check out our many lakes and streams, and be safe. Wash your hands, practice social distancing, but not distancing socially, and wear a mask when appropriate. God bless and best fishes. I'm tired of TikToking. Me too. Let's go hunting. Okay. Really? Hey, Dustin. Hi, I'm Chris Dedrick with Mill Creek Construction. Proud sponsor and a big fan of 3B Outdoors. Freddie, I'd still like to shoot this apple off your head. It ain't happening, sweetheart. Nobody wants to run out of power when they're on the water. There is a better way. Introducing the Charge Marine Power Management Station from PowerPole that does the work of three devices, a traditional battery charger, a charge on the run, and an emergency start system. PowerPole Charge. Have you been injured due to someone else's negligence? Do you know your time to file a claim is limited by law? For a free injury case evaluation, call 423-896-1974. Jim Williams and Associates, Attorneys at Law. Whether you're spending the day running around at 70 miles an hour in a high-powered bass boat, fishing a competitive stress field tournament, or just enjoying a day on the lake, you can never have enough, Dr. Enough. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I just barely got it. I want a big one. That's a good one. That's what you've been looking for, Nate. He's hitched up under the jaw, lady. Yeah. Careful with him, man. <laughs> He's probably in the... Yeah. That's better. He's fat. Eat my plug. Man. I kind of like it. Is that a picture taker for down here? Yeah, we'll take a picture of Nah, he's not a picture taker. He's pretty though. Yeah. Went on his way back to the deep blue yonder causeway. Yes, that's what I <laughs> Causeway mean. pattern. I'm telling you, can't beat it. Go in on the rocks and wind it slow and hold on. That's all you gotta do, I guess. We just gotta find enough of them that we know how to get there. <laughs> that's the problem right now. 
I've never caught up with him yet. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's the reason. White bass. That's the reason. He's wide open, <laughs> wasn't he? He went, he went too fast to be a bass. It's pretty amazing. Big, huge waterfall dropping off there in Alabama. Reminds us of home. I got my inner flipper on. Boys. Yeah, all right. Low spotty on a big old flipping jig. He's pretty in the sunlight. You can see him in the sun. There you go. Look at him. Pretty fish. Kusa spotted bass right there. I like it. I like it. Invisible fisherman. A little spot. Eat my crankbait. Ooh. Don't you look? I mean, both hooks in him. When you get a big one on, they get off. I don't know what you do different, but. Come loose. There we go. Mm-mm-mm. Coosa spotted bass. Same size. Not in camp back to see them. 12 inch fish, that's about it. But they're... They're fun. They're fun, yeah. That's about it, but Can't they're fun. Be, uh... Fit the bass. Yes, sir. This one's got some head shake here. Feels like you know, if it's a bass. Is it a bass? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Big large head. Stay on there, boy. Easy, easy, easy. baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty. Yeah, baby. No, that's a Kusa. Ooh. That's a spot. Listen, that, that's that's an epic that's a spot. Kusa. Yeah, spot baby. We got this is picture fish. Is picture yeah, fish. Yeah, man, that is pretty. Yes, Amen. sir. Look at that, man. He said right there, hazardous waters. Well, it's hazardous for him, wasn't it? That's why you want to stay out there. You get hurt. Old Dixie. That old Dixie spot. custom rod put the hurt on him. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty, pretty Coosa. Coosa River spot. Thank you, baby. He's gone. Yes, sir. I just wish old Matt had been here to see that. You know, old Matt Heron brought us down here. Oh well, we got proof. We got proof. Short line me. Yeah, that's a good. All right. I'm gonna change him, MLF. Him. Oh. <laughs> I did oh. That just happened. That just happened. Old Mark Rose him, didn't he? He got it down. Well, look at that. I guess when they want it, they want it. Crossways in his job. I mean, completely crossways, so that's good. He ate it, didn't he? Yeah, he ate it. He's a little bit better one. A little 12, 13 inch spot. We've been catching them where Nathan has all day long. But they're, they're fun, they hit good, and they mean business. They're like a small mouth, but look more like a large mouth, so they're fun. Coosa River spot. That's right. Uh, I have to hey, give, dude. I have, to, I have to give him about a five on that dive, Nathan. Too much splash. <laughs> Look at that sunset, man. Beautiful sunset. He just mean, I believe, but he found good. Oh, that's a good. One. Be careful with him. That spot, too. Yeah. 
my lines out there, so we'll just have to. Oh, that's a good one there. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> you took a chance in the school <laughs> and, and they left him, him, but you touched the carpet, so you got a two minute uh, penalty. The penalty won't bother me near as bad as losing it. That's, that's a good one right there. I mean, they're pretty. Look at them. Mm. I mean, that's pretty. They are mean, marked up. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Oh, like coosey, coosey. Coosey, coosey. Mm -hmm. Let's get him loose. Back to Crater. Crater. Oh. All right. All right. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Hello, I'm Jerome Carniger, editor of 3B Outdoors. On December 29th, 2018, I had a heart attack, and that day, I quit smoking. I now choose to live a healthy lifestyle by eating clean, getting plenty of exercise, and putting a lot of miles on the green belt. Don't wait for a heart attack. I'm proof that can happen to anybody. And also, don't let COVID prevent you from getting outdoors and enjoying life. Life is precious. At Patterson Homes, we like transforming ideas into reality, but our clients tell it best. This is where you're gonna spend your life, your next 30, 40, 50 years, and hopefully more. So you want it to be perfect, you want it to be right. We're on our second house with Travis here, uh, which says a lot. It's our home, it's our, it's our family, our life, and, and that's, what, that's what Patterson Homes made happen. I would highly recommend Travis and Amy. I know for a fact that you will not be disappointed. I'm Travis Patterson. I'd love to speak to you about building your dream home. 3B Outdoors is stoked to announce a new partnership with Dwayne Wilson, owner of Dixie Custom Rods and Tackle. He builds truly custom rods at an affordable price for any style and action up to the nine foot, nine inch ledge rocket. For an amazing combination, add one of his new reels to a custom rod. Dwayne's tungsten jigs and weights, the Mega Flash and Dixie Triple Threat umbrella style rigs are proven fish catching machines. Dwayne might even build you one just like the one I use, a seven foot, four inch medium action tight lining rod that is totally out of this world. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted Nox on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminox. Light them up at Luminox.com. Joanne O'Brien yet? No, we've been fishing, man. We're still fishing. Oh, are you? Yeah. Where are y'all fishing at today? We put in down there at the canal and just run the canal and in the Yellow River. Yellow Creek? That's what I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow something. Y'all caught any today? Yeah, we've had a good day. We caught probably, shoot, I don't know. There's a big one. There's a big one. He's got a big one. Hold on. A big one. I mean, a big one. I mean, they biggin. Woo! I mean, they biggin. You've got a hoss here. Yeah, that's one of them. We got a short enough Coosa River Whoa. spot. Oh, he drilled. That's one that hit me a minute ago, I bet. And I'm hung up. That's a yeah, big we, we got the GoPro running. We got the big oh, camera good. running. That's Barry's a good. got a big spot on. Got Matt oh. Heron on the phone. Oh, come here, baby. It's come crazy. Here. Come here. Come here. He ain't... Talk to oh. us, Matt. Oh, oh. Coach us. Oh. Oh, come here, baby. Yeah, I got a Coosie River. I got a Coosie. Get him in there. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Big bass just went off, man. Yeah. Woo. That's a big spot there now. I'm telling you, dude. All right. And Finally. Send me a picture. <laughs> right. And I'm hung up. Yeah. Hey, hold, man. Hold, hold up our front of the GoPro to see, too, up there. Yeah, that's a good one. Watch out. What'd you catch him on? He caught that on DT6. I've wrecked him on that little old uh, Spro plug today. Hey man, that's a good one. I caught one. Yeah. 
I caught, caught about three pound large mouth, another decent large mouth, then about a two and a half, three pound spot. Then he's got one here. It's a really nice one spot. It's a big in the day, big in the trip. There you go. All right, finally got a cushy. <laughs> Y'all get after them. Call me later. All right, brother. See you, man. Send pictures. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Old man hiring Lee Series Pro. Got to witness Wouldn't all that on the phone. You can say that in a minute. Let me get unhugged. Oh, hey, drill. Remember, I had, that's what I, that's my, probably the one hit me a minute ago. Oh, gosh, kinda. look here. This is my biggest Coosa River spot. I hadn't caught them before today. First time we've ever fished for them, but it just so happened we filmed Matt Heron yesterday, Elite Series Pro. He happened to call right before I hooked this one, so he got to hear everything and cheer me on on the phone, so that's pretty awesome. So thank you, Matt. Thank you, good Lord. Thank you, Nathan. Big Bass Barry. Big Bass Barry. He's back. Coosa River Spot. Thank you, Lord. They're just brilliantly white and black marked up. There he went. Oh, yeah. Oh, tater. <laughs> yeah. What a day. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Let's go stay on the phone with you, man, because you are the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not as big, but boy, he's literally loading him up, ain't he? Yeah, he's eating that DT6. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That mine just dropped out there a little deeper. He's pretty. Thank you, Lord. No, they eating that flat bait, too. They ain't no current. We're here in the canals on that left-hand side just going down. Man, right, right on that edge of the, you know where it drops off into 30 foot of water, I guess, but it's still five foot water, five or six, so they hitting now. It's a mean spot here, right there at the boat. <laughs> the shoreliners, aren't they? I mean, I watched him. He's getting ready to reel it in. Short line, man. Fat, stocky, mean. They got some attitude with them. Old Coosey River. Coosey River spots. Well, we've had fun. We have had fun. Mm -hmm. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. I'm Freddie Neely, co-host of 3B Outdoors. The coronavirus has changed our daily lives, maybe forever. Deer and turkey hunting gives me a break from the daily stresses of life. It relaxes me, refreshes me, and also gives me a chance to clear my mind. Visit Kingsport and 3B Outdoors would like to encourage you to get outdoors safely by washing your hands often, social distancing, and wearing a mask when needed. Have you been charged with a crime? Do you know your constitutional rights? For a free criminal defense consultation with an experienced Tennessee, Virginia criminal defense attorney, call 423-217-4685. Jim Williams and Associates, Attorneys at Law. Well, this turkey hunting is way overrated. Let's go down to Kearney's and get us some of that roasted chicken. You know what Mike says, seven days about chicken makes one week. Let's go. On a good home cooked meal, come to Lynn Garden Restaurant in Kingsport. You won't be disappointed. And here's the proof. The secret to a successful fishing trip is having all the right tools. The Avid Angler Solutions Fishing Kit is a must-have for all anglers. The kit has 8-inch stainless steel needle nose pliers, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, a hook file, braid cutting scissors, chartreuse scented die marker, and their new secret weapon, the Avid Angler Solutions Fishing Glue. It's amazing and the only fishing glue you'll ever need. The kit attaches to almost any flat surface on your boat. Order your kit at AvidAnglerSolutions.com. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. What you got there, Barry? <laughs> Listen, right here at the end of the day, that's a, that's a big one. Look at that. That's a Coastal River spot. I mean, they are mean. 
We had a little difficulty. Had a there. difficulty. Ran out of camera battery right here at the end. We're getting ready to quit. And had to swap man, it he out. drilled it. Loaded it up and he said, man, I'm out of battery. <laughs> we, we had to fight to get a battery in while I fought it, but there he is. We might have missed that, but we didn't miss the fish. That's the main thing. God, oh, he's wide. Look at that. <laughs> Coosa River spot. I'm not caught many, but thank the Lord he's giving me two big ones here at the end. Beautiful fish. They're really, really white and really, really pretty marked. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Gosh, look how pretty. Right here at the end of the day. Ain't nothing wrong with him. What a Man, way to I, finish. You're talking about a rough day. Nathan's caught probably 30 or 35 fish. No joke. And I'm thinking, he said, try my plug. And I said, no. Well, guess what? At the end, I finally get a big one. A couple big ones. I'm good. Praise the Lord. Three be outdoors. Too dark. <laughs> I'm hung up. Had to lay my rod down. <laughs> running downstream. So we're going to try to get mine unhung. We You're need a to go, We really need to go home, Barry. You know that. <laughs> no. Yeah. We've been whistling Dixie. In Alabama, we've been whistling Dixie, Dwayne. We've had these Dixie custom rods bowed up a lot this trip. We can handle them spots. We can figure out how to make them bite, these Dixies. We've always heard the saying where we come from, well, I ain't whistling Dixie. Well, D-Wayne, we whistled Dixie today, buddy, on some Coosa River spots, didn't we, Nate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, D-Wayne. Like Barry said, his day started out slow and I was catching a few of those Coosa spotted bass and man was having a great time. Toward the end of the day, like he always does, he came through, caught a big old fish or two and man, it was just a great day all the way around. And what about that one clip there? You couldn't have scripted it any crazier. I mean, we had a fish on, I was hung up, Matt Heron was on the phone and we had the GoPro running. It was just crazy. That's the way it happens on 3B Outdoors. I'm Nathan White, appreciate you watching. God bless and best fishes. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun. Load up boats, rods and reels, bows and our guns. We're team 3B, gonna have